All right, real quick. So we we're getting back to using the tendon fork to deliver the tendon. You, you deliver the little sharp guide wire through the tendon fork, which spears your tendon and maintains your tension. There's some little devices that help tap it in there. And what's great about that is now acts as your guide wire to deliver your screw, which we just pummeled on the ground. Thank you, Gary. And then this is the 7x12, I believe it is. And then that just comes right over top of this guide wire. And then you deliver your deliver your screw right into and then you just deliver your screw just like back. Done. God wire out. Quick, efficient, straightforward. So again, like I said, the alternative technique that they do with this, as we talked about, this would be similar to the Arthrex for an open case is they do a, a one-sided technique. I'll take a look at your technique guides. They talk about it there. But the benefit of the one-sided technique, well, you probably get a little less tendon spin. So what they mean by that is you prep your graft like that. You place your tendon fork within a little suture loop there. If we can get that there. In the morning. Sorry about that. You just have a little tendon loop. Put it within the fork, you can get it. And then you can just deliver your tendon on a one sided technique this way. So, or that'd be similar to the Arthrex system. So, again, um, what do we get the benefits of it? It's versatile, it's efficient, it's quick. You saw it. You, again, you don't have a lot of instruments. You're tensioning, if you actually put a little whip stitch on the top of your tendon, you can actually work on tensioning, which is a big issue with biceps and arthroscopic biceps. How do we get our tension? Um, it gets you into the BR story. Again, we're using the logo, another reason to talk about there. And the other nice thing is it can be extremely cost efficient for your facility. Basically, a drill pin, you know, a drill pin, $25 drill pin, and a screw. They can get it done. Um, quick surgical pearls, arthroscopically, it's always good to probably have an 8.5 by 55 cannula with you. Um, the biggest issue with this device you're going to get, and it's not similar to us, is screw and tendon, tendon twisting. So how do you prevent that? One way is to use that 8.5 cannula. When you're going to insert your screw arthroscopically, collapse it on top of the tunnel. That will help prevent tendon spin. The 8.5 by 55 is good. It's short. You can take your tendon out if you need to, so it's always good to have that. Another pearl could be uh, arthroscopically. Again, we talk about helping your docs. When you're in the joint, have them spear the tendon with the, uh, with the uh, spinal needle. Have them release the biceps and leave that spinal needle in place so when they go subacromial, what you're going to have is that spinal needle's essence is going to become a landmark for them. They're going to know right where the biceps is, and they're going to be able to navigate down the front of the shoulder and open up the groove and find the biceps. So that's a nice little pearl. Um, two, um, on the open, the one-sided fixation. If you guys are having difficulty with tendon spin, go to the Arthrex technique. Do it that way. That will eliminate it. And I believe Matt sent a uh, text the other day about something he did where he used one of those uh, those uh, metal graft sizers, almost in essence like a candy on an open procedure with a screw, and he said that worked as well. And another thing, you must use the biceps drivers for this case. They are specifically designed drivers. If you don't, the this wire will not fit down our standard 23 millimeter um, drivers. So if you were planning on using those, you'll be sadly disappointed in the build the device that holds the tension. It won't go the uh, it's too wide. Like if, you, if you try to use them like the Milagro, absolutely, driver, it so won't work. So you got to make sure you have the exact one right there. So um, again, competition, Arthrex, obviously, two systems. They have the Biotin Adesis set, which is uh, I brought some technique guides for you to look at afterwards. But basically, it's got one-sided fixation. It's expensive. You got to whip the graph. You got to prep it. Tensioning is not set. It's a fairly complicated technique. So. Um, Again, but the benefit is there's lots of sizes. It's gold standard. It's what guys know. The swivel octinodesis is a great system out now for arthroscopic. It's got a peak tendon fork that makes it a one set delivery. Very slick, very efficient. But by their own data, I believe they only have 130 newtons of strength. So it's a very weak system, barely sufficient of fixing the biceps. So it's a key point. But again, it's a very slick and easy to use device. Smith and Nephew Biceptors is very similar to us. My tech states that our tendon fork's much better than theirs easier to remove, so that's going to become rapid differentiation. It's up to us. It's up to us to tell them about BR, our story, and why they want to use our system opposed to them. Um, and then again, let's. why is this important? It gets us into a new technique. We haven't been in bone biceps. It's bringing us works another thing with doctors. 
gives us a way to show technology and show our skills. And it also could be an easy way to an entryway to ACL screws. If you're using our ACL screws about the VR, you know, let's go down that road. And again, it's a tech, it's a case that Arthrex has owned for years. Let's fucking take it from them. You know, they, they don't know anything about it. They have just been delivering sets for months, so it's us. So real quick, last thing, and I'm gonna close. What, what another good thing about this is, that how do we build this case? Again, we can build as little as, you know, Milagro's 400 bucks. We, you know, you can get some like discounting on it. You can do that, and you can buy the six-pack guide wire, non-sterile guide wire, 25 bucks a piece. So you could do a case for as low as 425 bucks, or you could build a case up to $1,500, meaning you could add an 8 by 5 by 55 can, or you could add a sterile reamer, and you can add a, uh, a drill pen. You throw in a disposable kit. You could add a, you know, ortho cord, um, delivery charges. So you could get this case up to 1,500 bucks if you have facilities that allow you to build. So take that into mind as well. So. Um, just to close on the whole thing, obviously, guys, it's another place for us to play. It's something new and unique for us to deliver. It's a way for us to work with our doctors, and it's also a way for us to hit our competition in another way. So let's take advantage of the opportunities we have, and this is a slick little way. Make a little saw bones like this. You can show the doc two seconds real quick and efficient. You can show it to him in between cases, and I think you can get him to use it. So take, let's take advantage of what we have. Thank you very much.